today. Go red for Women's Day, but it's about more than just your wardrobe choice, folks. It's a day to raise awareness about heart disease, the leading killer of women. But now KC's Mackenzie Nelson shares a local story about a woman revealing why she holds this day so close to her heart. I'm Holly. It took me completely by surprise. Holly Gilloth always lived a healthy lifestyle, but five years ago, her life quickly changed. In 2014, the wheels came off the cart and my heart stopped pumping. She underwent a heart transplant and now calls this act three of her life. But when I came out of the anesthesia, my heart was pumping and there was blood getting to places that hadn't seen it in a long time. At 48, Holly was diagnosed with cardiomyopathy, meaning she had an enlarged heart. In the U.S., one in four women die from heart disease. It's the leading cause of death in women over 35. Heart attack and stroke kill more women than all forms of cancer combined. On this National Wear Red Day, survivors like Holly visited patients at St. Luke's Mid-America Heart Institute, sharing words of encouragement and advice. Keep your head down and take it one step at a time, because if you don't, it can become overwhelming. Doctors say eating healthy and being active can prevent heart disease by 95%. If diagnosed, Holly wants you to know this. There is life with heart disease, and um, it's not an end stop. In Kansas City, Mackenzie Nelson for the Now KC. The American Heart Association says more than 400,000 women die every year from heart disease. As we mentioned, it's more than cancer, diabetes, and accidents combined.